Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello everyone. Welcome to this micro credential learning series. My name is Abdul Karim Alias. And in this video, I would like to share this website which I have just discovered. Um, I wish I have I had discovered this website earlier because um, when I go through this uh, and fi I find that actually this is a very, very good website, especially for those who want to embark on online program or online course uh, design. There's a lot of very, very useful information put together uh, on this website. And uh, this actually, let me give the acknowledgement first to the owner of this website. So this online course mapping guide is actually produced by University California, California San Diego. Uh, I think this, they, they have a teaching and learning commons digital learning initiative here or a center here. And they have made this useful information available to the public and they use a license, creative common license here. And this would allow people, you know, like me to use the material, um, you know, for the purpose of uh, education and, and so on without getting their prior permission. Uh, we just give the acknowledgement to the owner of the content or in this case, the website. So I would encourage you, especially if you are new uh, and you don't have a proper uh, guidance, this, would, this website would actually give you comprehensive information on how to start designing your online program and even at the course level, when you want to design your online course, you can actually use the guides provided by them to uh, before you start to develop the actual content. So this would actually give you the a systematic way of designing and and uh, approaching your project. So you see here, uh, you see here, um, getting started curriculum analysis domains of learning, course competencies, learning outcome, then mapping your course at the course level. This is actually especially important when you plan your the content and how you want to uh, deliver the online course. So actually they have um, provided a course map template here. This is really, really useful. The modules, outcome, assessment, instructional content. Let's have a look. Um, yeah, mapping your course here. So these are the place to start at the course level when you want to plan and design your online course or online module. So let's go to course map template here. And here you can see uh, the mapping, the mapping your course section. Um, so you can, they have provided a course map template which you can download and even uh, the exercise worksheet, worksheet and even some example here. So let's see if you click uh, example course map, they have provided four template here, structural engineering, physics, computer science, and humanities. So if, I would recommend you to have a look. And uh, let's uh, look at one of the template which I have uh, downloaded here. So this is a course map example for this course structural system testing and model correlation. So you have information about the course and the course learning outcome or the CLO. Then the course material. So what are the course material for this course? Then this is the most important part here. This is actually the mapping for the course. So we have uh, Module title, course learning outcome, module learning outcome. Only yesterday I mentioned about this MLOs, the module learning outcome. And this module learning outcome should be or should align with the course learning outcome. And then yeah, you have the assessment rubrics, activities or the learning activities to engage the students in the online course. And what kind of instructional material that you want to use for this particular topic or for this particular learning outcome. And you can do the same for module two, module three, and so on and so forth. This is really, really uh, a very good way of designing, planning and designing 
before you start to develop the content itself. This basically to you, you can provide it can provide the the roadmap a clear roadmap and a clear uh, kind of a milestone and, and very systematic way to guide the course developers if there are more than one uh, because everyone will look at this co- uh, this roadmap and everyone will be guided by by the the detailed roadmap provided provided here. And this is also useful actually uh, if you want to outsource the content development, for example. So the owner of the course must come up with this one first before we let you know the people, uh, other people, or the, the other team that you outsource to uh, to develop the content. So um, I would encourage those who want to embark on online course development or online program to go through. The content of this website, I think it's worth to spend a few hours to study everything here. And that actually would give you um, a good head start to develop any online course or any online program. Again, once again, I would like to show my appreciation to the University of California, San Diego for providing this material for to the public. So thank you for listening and I hope you can, uh, you know, use this inform- useful information to guide you in your journey in the online program.